welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a type of video that I haven't filmed in a really long time actually and that is a setting up my binders video for recent or upcoming k-pop comebacks. There's a lot happening right now in terms of comebacks. I'm collecting a lot right now. There's a lot of new music out there. There's a lot of new music still to come so I'm really really excited. So today I'm going to be setting up my binders for a few comebacks some of these comebacks have already happened, some of them may have already happened by the time I post this video, and some of them are upcoming in the next few weeks. I'm super excited for every single one of the releases, and yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so first up we have Red Velvet. Red Velvet has already made their comeback by the time I'm filming this with Feel My Rhythm. This is the first in a series, I believe, so I'm very excited. I have obviously like listened to the title track, I've listened to the album, and I'm not gonna say too much because I will be filming an unboxing for my albums, but I love it. I love everything about it. It is so Red Velvet and they just, they never disappoint me, so. Yeah, but I'll save my like actual thoughts on the album as a whole for my unboxing. But yes, they did have a comeback. And of course there was an album to be released with the comeback. So right here is the photo book version. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know where I left off. My cat distracted me. But yes, we do have um, pretty much similar album details to what they did with Queendom. So we have two photo book versions here. I'm not going to attempt to say the names. I do not know how to pronounce those correctly, so I'm just gonna skip right over it. The covers look amazing. I cannot wait to display these on my shelves. This concept was so perfect, and yeah, I just love Red Velvet so much. I'm so excited to get my hands on these. Kate Down For You, please ship my albums. But yes, um, we have the photo book. I think the photo books are different because of the spine color. One is green, one is pink. Um, that's what I'm hoping. I have not watched any unboxings. I will not watch any unboxings until I have the album in my hands. So I'm I'm really hoping that the photo book is different this time between the two covers. Because yeah, with Queendom last time, only the actual dust jacket was different. The contents inside was exactly the same. And that felt a little scammy to me, to be honest. So yeah, hopefully we get just a ton of gorgeous photos of the girls and I'm so excited. CD, there's two stickers so hopefully I'll pull both of them in my albums. I would like to have both of them. And then there is a bookmark that is member specific. You get one out of five. I will most likely collect Yeti for this. Um, again, I just really love this concept so I will try and collect everything that I can for her. And then there is a folded poster that is member specific. I don't know if this will fit in my binder if it does, maybe I will try and collect Yeti. I don't typically collect posters, but I think I'm going to want to collect this for her. So yeah, we'll we'll see what it looks like when I have it. Well, it looks like there's a group and then two unit posters. And then we get to the goods, which are the photo cards. Obviously the album has come out, so I have seen all of the cards for this album. I won't post any photos in case you do not want to be spoiled, but the cards are so good for this album. These girlies were not coming to play with their photo cards, and I'm so happy about it. Yeti's cards are so gorgeous. I'm so excited to collect her. And yeah, so for the photo book version, it's a random one out of 10. So if you buy two photo books, you will pull two cards, which is enough to trade for a specific member. Okay, and the next version is the Oracle version. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm so sorry, but can we just talk about this? It looks like a jewelry box. It's so good. Whoever is on the design team at SM, like, snaps for you. This is amazing. And I'm so excited to just see them in person. Uh, I can't wait. So yes, for this, we have the package, obviously, the photo book. Um, still 96 pages for the photo book. This looks pretty small, so that's nice that it's almost 100 pages. We have the CD, the envelope, we get one sticker, and then there is a mini stand, so this is random one out of five. You can put the stand in the album, it looks like, to look like a jewelry box. I don't know if I'll get Yeti for this. Um, I don't know like how thick these are, so because of that I don't know how trading would go. Um, so yeah, we'll just see who I pull. And then the photo card is a random one out of five. And Yeti's card for this version is so good. Oh my god, she 
dare I say it, this is Yeti's era, I think. Not that I'm biased or anything, but I do think she is just killing it this era. And that is it for random inclusions, just the mini stand and the photo card. So let's get into my binder now. Okay, so I believe I'm going to need a new page in my binder, yes. So, okay, so obviously there are three cards to collect for this comeback, and I do have my fillers here <laughs> that I've already prepared. I'm gonna leave this top row open because I'm gonna put her SMCU cards up here, and then I'm just going to stick these in. Um, actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the two photo book versions on the ends, and then put her um, Oracle version in the middle because this one's just like a little bit different than the other two with the angle and everything. So I think it will look good in the middle. And I'm gonna leave the bottom three slots empty. If I heard correctly, I think Red Velvet might have at least like three more comebacks this year if they're coming back with every season. So yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot to collect this year for Red Velvet and that makes me so, so happy. So yeah, I'll just leave these open for the next comeback. I did join a group order for her Make Star Polaroid because Red Velvet is doing Make Star Pops now, like what? So I don't know what it looks like. Obviously I don't know if it's like just a concept photo printed in a Polaroid style or if it's like an actual like Polaroid style photo. I think either way I'm going to put it on this page, maybe in the middle, just to fill this up and that way I don't break like the row of three that I have going right now. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for that. I'm not going to put in a filler for it, but I'm excited to see what it looks like at least. For the bookmark, I'm not going to put any like fillers or anything that will go in my larger inclusions binder. So no worries there. So yeah, that was actually everything I needed to do for Red Velvet. Pretty simple. So the next comeback that we can talk about is NCT Dream. They are coming back on March 28th. It's Monday. At least I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Um, with their second full album, Glitch Mode, I'm so excited about this. I can't believe we're getting another full album for Dream. Can't believe it. But yes, this is the photo book version details here. As of the time that I'm filming this, we have not gotten any details for the digipack version so i have made fillers for the digipack version because i'm pretty sure what we're gonna get in it but we have not gotten any type of preview at this time so yes we have the two photo book versions here there is the scratch version and the glitch version again obsessed with these concepts obsessed with jenno's pink hair obsessed with chenla's monster high pink highlights I'm just so excited to see the photo books, to see the photo cards, to listen to the music. I just think it's gonna be so cool. And the cities actually look really interesting this time. And then we do get a photo card set in this album. It just looks like it's gonna be photo card size, like fold outs, which is nice. I mean, I'm not complaining about this inclusion. I think it's really, really nice. And there is a folded poster for each version, sticker sheets. And then here comes the random inclusions. So in each version of the album, you will get a lenticular card. So there are two lenticulars to collect per member. Um, if you don't know, I do collect Jeno and Chenla. Um, and then the photo cards, the photo cards look so good. Yeah, for each version, it is a random one out of seven. So again, two cards to collect per member for the photo book version. Pretty standard for SM, nothing out of the ordinary there. I'm so excited to see these cards. They look so, so cute and yeah, I'm very excited to collect the Dreamies this time. I just think it's gonna be a banger. Like, they, the way they've been hyping it up, the way they've been talking about this album, how much effort they put into it. Um, they said that they really think that they did all that they could in terms of preparation. So I'm really, really anticipating it. But yeah, let's get into the binder now. Okay, so I don't actually know where I want to put this because I sometimes keep the full group comebacks like separate from the dreamies comebacks but i think i'll probably just start glitch mode after universe 
um, I think that's fine, but I do need a few pages. Okay, and the setup for this is pretty self-explanatory, especially because I collect two members. It's gonna look so good in the four pocket. So on the first page, I'm going to put all of their selfies for both the scratch and glitch versions for the photo books. So I guess we can talk about pobs really quick because I did order my albums with SM Global Shop. Um, or with a site that was offering the SM as I struggled to get this in, <laughs> the SM Global Shop Pobs. So yeah, I did order a set of photo books and two digi packs. So I will in theory have four SM Global Shop pre-order benefits. Again, they're random. I don't know if I'm gonna get Jenno and Chenla, so I'm not gonna set up for them. Um, if I do pull them, I, I will make space for them, but I'm not really anticipating it and I don't know what trading is going to be like for SM Global Shop. So I'm just, I'm not even going to plan that out because whenever I put fillers in my binder for something and I end up not being able to get it, it makes me really sad to take out the fillers. <laughs> So I'd rather just not put in the fillers at all. And for the digi pack, I did just make two fillers, one for Jenna, one for Chenla for their selfies. I am like 99.999% sure we're going to get a, a type of AR selfie photo card, some type of selfie in the digi pack. So I felt comfortable just making that assumption without full album details. We might get another like AR clip card type situation or universe card situation in the Digipack as well. Whenever that gets announced, I will add the fillers for that, but I think this is good. So yeah, a lot more for the Dreamies and of course they will most likely do a repackage in April or maybe May. I don't know, their comeback is so late in the month that I would be kind of surprised if they came out with a repack in April. So we'll just have to see, but I'm very, very excited to collect more for the Dreamies. I love them so much and I can't wait to see what they come up with this time. Okay, and lastly, we can run through the last two groups I will be setting up for in this video and that is Purple Kiss and Ive. So Purple Kiss is having a comeback on the 29th, I believe the day after Dream, if I'm not mistaken. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong about that date, but yeah, I'm so excited. It's been so long since we had a Purple Kiss comeback, so I'm really, really excited. The concepts look so cool so far, so yeah, I'm super pumped to see what the music sounds like on this mini, so not sure how to pronounce this. Um, Mem Mem, maybe? I have to listen to the teaser again because I know they say it, but yes, this this is the album title. Um, there are two versions for this comeback. On um, very standard Purple Kiss, there are four cards to collect per member, two for each version. So we have the Meme version. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure, but yeah, that's what the out package looks like. It looks so cool. I can't wait. Um, so here's the photo book, 108 pages. There is a random character folded poster. And then the photo cards, like I said, two out of 14 random per version. So yeah, from these previews, this chain card, I can't wait. Oh my God, I'm so excited to get my hands on these albums. And then you also get two postcards. So there's a hide version postcard and a seek version postcard and you get a random one out of seven. I think it is super generous of RBW to be giving us two postcards per album. Um, that is very, very generous of them. But yes, that is the first version. And then for the second version, we have the M version. And it's basically the same thing. It's just a different concept, which is exciting. But you get um, a different character folded poster. I will not be collecting the posters for Chayan. I only collect photo cards and like smaller inclusions for her. And then we have the photo cards. I am a little devastated. It looks like this Chayan photo card is a non-selfie. So yeah, screaming and crying a little bit at that. Looks like she is the only non-selfie in the set. And yeah, we'll, we'll deal with it though. It's not the end of the world. It just makes me a little sad, but the cards look so cute, especially Swan's version. 
I don't know what she's holding, but it looks super cute. So I can't wait to see all the photo cards. And then you get the same two hide and seek postcards in this version of the album. And yeah, that's it for Purple Kiss. I'm gonna go through Ives album details right now as well, just so we can set everything up all in one go. So Ive is coming back with their second single album, Love Dive. There are two songs on this album and there are three album versions. Tell me why, tell me why that's a thing with Starship slash Highline. Like, why are we being given more album versions than songs on the actual album itself? Make it make sense. I mean, obviously I know why it's because of money, but yes, there are three versions for this album, version one, two, and three. And for each version, there is a photo card to collect. So each member has three photo cards for this era. And then in addition to the photo card, you will get a heart hologram card, which I'm super excited about. These look very cute. Um, even though I have no idea what the photos look like, um, I'm excited to see what they look like. And then there are pre-order benefits for this album. So we have the sticker pre-order benefit, and then we have a poster. There are three versions here, and the sticker is random. So one out of six, so each girl has a sticker. And yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty easy, honestly. If we can move past the three versions, like it's a pretty straightforward Starship release, I would say, in my opinion. But yeah, let's get into the binder and I'll talk about how I'm going to be collecting these comebacks. Okay, so who's the first group in here? I think it's Ive. Yeah, so we'll start with Ive. Okay, so for Ive, it's pretty easy. I have three fillers for each version of the album and I'm just gonna put these in. So my plan for Ive is very simple similar to my plan for Purple Kiss in that I will only be ordering one copy of the album physically and I do plan on doing that by joining a group order. I have not decided which version I'm going to get of the album. I'm waiting for the concept photos to start dropping and then I will decide which version I want to get and hopefully with photo card sorting I'll be able to get Ray's photo card for whatever version I order and then I will just buy the other two photo cards that I need after the fact. Um, I'm certain that Ive is going to have a lot of fan calls, a lot of people are going to be buying a lot of albums to try and get in, so hopefully I'll be able to snag um, a few extra photo cards. But yeah, that's my plan on how I'll collect Ive for this era. Just with everything else going on, there are so many groups having comebacks, especially with Suho having a comeback the same week as Ive. I know I'm going to be buying a ton of albums for that comeback, so <laughs> I need to kind of like save money where I can with the comeback, so I think going the group order route, just getting one version is totally fine with me. I'm super happy with that. But with that, I do plan on joining a group order that is going to be like buying from a store with a pre-order benefit. So I do have this filler for a Love Dive Pob. I don't know what store I'm going to be ordering from at this point. I'm going to wait until it's a bit closer to the comeback. Hopefully some stores will release like photo card previews and I can decide from there. But yeah, that is my setup for Ive. And lastly for Purple Kiss, I did go ahead and put in a four pocket sleeve. So very simply for Chan, I just have all four photo cards um, on these little fillers. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat, she has had enough of me filming basically. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna slip this in. For Purple Kiss, again, it's gonna be the same collecting process as I'm planning on for Ive. I'm going to order one version of the album through a group order, and through that group order, I hope that I can get Chan's inclusions for that version of the album. I have already joined a group order for Apple Music. Apple Music is doing pre-order lucky draws, so I will end up with two, well hopefully I'll end up with two Chan lucky draw photo cards, and I believe I joined for the Meme version. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I will collect her postcards if they fit in the A5, um, so we'll just have to see um, what happens with that. But yeah, that is my collecting plan 
for Purple Kiss, and that was actually the last thing I needed to set up in this video. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm super excited for all the comebacks that are about to start happening. And yeah, keep an eye out for a few unboxings that are gonna be out on my channel soon, and I will see you in another one soon. Bye!